everybody. Welcome to a Wednesday morning mic talk. You've done it again. You've joined us at Song and Sword. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you guys for your gifts that continue to roll in, your commitments to be partners with Song and Sword. We're grateful for that. Remember Sunday at our Easter sunrise services, I said um, that we would be willing to give 10%. We're committed to give 10% of the offering away to a local charity. It's my pleasure to tell you that on your behalf, on behalf of those who have partnered with Song and Sword, yesterday I was able to give a check for $600 to Home Sweet Home Mission uh, here in Bloomington. And uh, it's, it's great. I mean, this ministry that didn't exist six weeks ago, God's allowed us um, to start making an impact locally. And I just want to let you guys know, I told you that we would give 10%. I gave a $600 check yesterday. You can do the math what the offering was. All right. God bless you guys. So glad you're with me. I hope you're doing well. We're halfway through the week. I'm working on a sermon for you for Sunday. I'll talk more about that as we get close to the weekend. I want to show you something that's really cool. One of the best gifts, coolest gifts I've ever gotten. This right here is an elk skin. Um, my friend uh, Pete Friedmanski gave it to me, brought it to me yesterday. His daughter brought it to the house yesterday. And uh, what an awesome thing. You know, I'm not a hunter, but I understand how cool these things are, how valuable this is. It's one of the coolest things. Thank you, Pete. God bless you, brother. And that actually um, kick-started in my mind. I thought I need to do something for a mic talk, a devotional that has to do with skins. And uh, I originally went with, um, you know, the, the tabernacle in the Old Testament, the, the uh, holy tent that God told Moses to build was covered with skins. And you can see why, because it's, it's, uh, it's waterproof and it's very durable. Um, but I, I came to another one because you probably know Elijah and John the Baptist, they were famous for being prophets who wore skins. Hebrews chapter 11, remember it's that great um, chapter of faith. Some people call it the, the Faith Hall of Fame. It mentions a bunch of people, but as the writer of Hebrews gets along in verse 32, uh, he writes this, what more shall I say? For time fails me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah and of David and Samuel and the prophets who through faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the power of the fire, escaped the edge of the sword, were made strong out of weakness, became mighty in war, put uh, uh, foreign armies to flight, Women received back their dead by resurrection. Some were tortured, refusing to accept release so that they may rise again to a better life. Others suffered mocking and flogging and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned. They were sawn in two. They were killed by the sword. They went about, and here it is in verse 37, they went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, afflicted, mistreated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering around in deserts and mountains and dens and caves of the earth. All these, though commended through their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God had provided something better for us that apart from us, they should not be made perfect. What an incredible story. And, and the point that I want to make today is really simple, is that God works through the lives of ordinary people. Some of them did extraordinary things that were not even mentioned in the Faith Hall of Fame. They could have been. But they, they were known for their faith. They were commended for their faith. And sometimes when you walk by faith, you shut the mouths of lions. And you survive the fire. And the dead are raised back to life. And sometimes when you follow by faith... You are destitute and you're walking around and you're persecuted and, and you have uh, this for clothes. And I think the writer of Hebrews is saying that this is the life, the, the life of a faith person, a follower of Jesus Christ by faith, is that there are ups and there are downs, but there is something better in the future. Even these people from the Old Testament, these men and women of faith from the Old Testament, they didn't receive the full reward. It would not be realized until Jesus Christ came into the world. And in the same way, we have received the full grace of Jesus Christ, his forgiveness and his love and, his, and, and all the, the promises. But truthfully, we walk about destitute, skins, struggling. Sometimes uh, the world is not worthy of us. 
um, because we don't belong here. Our faith will someday be turned into something greater, like those Old Testament friends of ours who used to wear these. So whatever you're wearing today, understand that it's part of the journey of faith that you'll have some good times and some bad times. But in the meantime, God will always have a hope for you in your future. And that's what we hope for today. Happy Wednesday, kids. Hope you have a good day. God bless you.